So it's Saturday morning now and I have to do some prep for a technical assessment that I have on Monday morning, which is a really important one. It's for a job that I really, really want. And it's over React and Redux, which I've worked in in the past for a long time, but I haven't looked at for a couple of weeks because I was working on other stuff and learning other things. So I'm going to go seclude myself at a coffee shop for a few hours and uh, re-up my React and Redux skills and do that for a while. But I have to wait for my computer to charge because the place I go doesn't really have a lot of outlets. We're stuck here at home for a couple minutes and then to the Starbucks. All right, so we're charged up and clothed. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, so we're charged up now and it's time to head to Starbucks. So let's go. I would like to go there. At the back of the house Where a high school teacher Caught us when making out You meet perfect strangers But really not at the same time Nothing can come between us You and me were Yeah, like today was a good week. I don't know why I felt less stressed about jobs this week even though I had less prospects than I did the week before. Like last week I like really cared and this week I seem to care a little less about like being stressed about it. Like I care about getting a job and I care about development. I care about like being able to like be productive, but I don't like want to beat myself up over it as much this week as I did last week, which is good. Um, my car smells like Greek food. I had Greek food last night and so I was in the car for a little bit while I drove it home. But man, it smells like Greek food. I want some like euros right now. Again, like re-up, do it two days in a row. I have this technical assessment on Monday. It's the last step of the process for this job that I've been in the process with for a long time, for like over a month. They're one of the companies, and I notice this a lot with companies, um, like tech companies that are hiring, it's it's like a hurry up and wait situation. You put in your application, you maybe hear back really quickly or after like a week and it's like, hey, let's talk tomorrow. And then you talk tomorrow and then you wait for a week and you don't hear anything and it's like torture. And then you hear back and it's like, hey, let's, let's set up a in-person tomorrow. And then you do that and then it's like torture because you don't hear back for another week. And so like that kind of hurry up and wait thing happens like fairly regularly from what I can tell, like in this part of town, um, this part of the country when it comes to tech interviews. And it's it's hard, but Monday I have the last step. Um, I'm talking to somebody who's overseas um, in this company and we're talking about uh, development and React. I have already been told that I have impressed the other people that I've talked to and that they really want me and that they like me. So this is kind of that like last barrier of entry that I'm super excited to get into, but I don't want to mess it up. So I have been like hitting the book since I found out about this to like really dig into the inner workings of React, understand how it works and not just how to build stuff with it, but the like why you do things certain ways. And that's what I've been working on for the past few days. That's what I'm going to work on today. I'm getting out of the house so that I can stay like really focused and not get distracted by college football or whatever it is that's happening. I'm just trying to stay really focused. So that's my day to day uh, and you guys are coming along with me. I've been talking for two and a half minutes. This is wild. It's time for a break. Back at the apartment now, and I was going to film in the parking lot of Starbucks, but somebody was waiting on my parking spot, so I had to do that thing where you like super rush to get everything into your car and then back out, even though you're not ready to back out, and it puts a lot of pressure on you. And I, I hate that. I hate that when that happens. Um, and actually, I've got gum in my mouth. I'm gonna get yelled at for filming with gum in my mouth. Hold on gum is gone. So actually yesterday, funny story, last night I went to go get food. I got the Greek food that I was talking about earlier 
and I had to stop somewhere else to get other food. Instead of walking into a restaurant with another restaurant's food, which I don't like doing because it's just awkward, I went to my car to put the first restaurant's food in there and where I was getting the food from was this like big complex of places and they have like a bunch of shops and stuff. It's kind of like an outdoor shopping center, strip mall, but like newer type of thing. And so I put the like first restaurant's food that was my food in the car and when I like turned around to get back to the other restaurant to grab that takeout, there was a car waiting on me. And I like put my hands up like this and I was like, I'm not leaving, like, man, I'm sorry. Um, and their windows were rolled up, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they could hear me, but I, I just said, like, I'm sorry, like, I'm not leaving and started walking. And as I start walking past this like big truck, the guy rolls his window down and cusses at me out. He's like, F you, like, I'm trying to find a parking spot. And I'm like, what, like, what makes you think you have a right to this parking spot because I walked to the car? Anyways, sometimes people are crazy, especially around the holidays, trying to get parking at places where they're trying to spend money. But yeah, don't let it get you down. I just thought it was funny. And then the same situation happened, although I was actually leaving this time, so yeah. Fun times in a parking lot, huh? So this is why I go work at coffee shops because I've been home for a couple of hours and I didn't really do anything, which I think is fine. I've convinced myself that I'm more prepared than I thought I was based upon the stuff I was doing earlier. I don't know. I'm gonna do more stuff tomorrow. I think I'm done for Saturday as far as like the working side of things go. But I prefer to work at coffee shops, whether that's doing development work or planning stuff out or doing writing. Um, I like to be in like a place where there's other people and not necessarily interacting with those people, but just being kind of in that like general vicinity with the force of like that energy around me tends to help me work. And sometimes it's like good to get distracted by other things like other people and like listen to how people talk and interact especially if you're writing that can be like super useful and then for development work like I just throw in headphones and I work and see other people being productive and that motivates me to be more productive as opposed to like what I've done since I got home which is just watch football where do you guys like to work do you like to work at home can you not stay concentrated if there are people moving around and stuff around you or do you like to go work at coffee shops or do you like open offices cubicles that sort of stuff let me know down below in the comments you guys know what I'm really good at? Filming closes for videos. Except for not really, because I forgot to film one yesterday. So here I am telling you, if you liked this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you haven't already, follow along in the journey by hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.